Hi there. Today I'm going to give you a lesson on playing guitar and show you some chords so you can start playing some songs. Okay. First off, knowing the parts of the guitar is very important. Here in the lower portion we have the body of the guitar and up here is the neck, the fretboard, and up here at the top is the headstock. <laughs> uh, how you hold the guitar is very important. You're going to want to put this, this uh, curved section right here on your right knee or your right leg. So if it's nice and snug like that, left, left hand, um, it's very important that you follow this method where you put your thumb uh, on the, on, towards the middle of the back of the neck and then you want to get your, uh, the rest of your fingers and the rest of your hand to do the C shape. Um, That'll be most comfortable when you're playing chords in the future. All right. and then, uh, secondly, being able to hold a pick the right way is very important. Um, what I like to do on that is put it on my uh, pointer finger like that, and then grab down with your thumb. And there's a couple different ways you can do it. do that. You can hold it with the rest of your fingers. Um, so I'm just like do two like that. But the most important thing is making sure that the, uh, the pick is level or is parallel to the strings. All right. <clears throat> so you might want to try to play a few notes here and there. And what you'll notice first off is uh, that it hurts uh, your left fingers a lot to press down notes. And what you have to do to get that uh, better so you just have to play more and more and you'll get calluses on your fingertips and also you'll notice as you try to play a note over here you have to constantly look back and forth just to make sure your right finger is doing or uh, you're, you're picking the same note that you're playing um, so here's a lesson to to show you how to get better with that um, and it goes like this you want to start by uh, and in the lowest E string, um, which is just completely open, and then you want to put your first finger on that uh, first fret down there, and then go up. Next one, next one up, next one up, and then you want to repeat that same uh, same action that you did as the first string. So you hit open. try to play anything else then you'll notice that you start getting faster and faster and uh, eventually you can do it uh, really fast and as you do it, it it develops a callus as long as you make sure to do a finger for every string uh, it'll develop a callus on there and then you won't have that pain anymore and of course it helps with the coordination with your right uh, right picking hand as well we have an A chord. Um, this is a common way uh, that you'll find chords on the internet. Um, basically what it has, these, uh, this is the guitar um, neck, uh, the fretboard here, these are the first three frets, and <clears throat> these numbers here correspond to your fingers. Um, basically on your left hand, number one, this is the first uh, finger, two, number three, Four. So what we have here is uh, an A chord, which involves uh, your first three fingers, and basically um, what you do is you put your 
first finger is this one right here on the uh, D string, which is going to be this right here, second fret. Then the next one is your second finger on the second fret, uh, G string. And then your third finger is on this uh, B, B string, second fret. And so then you have it held down with your left hand, and um, what you see up here at the top is it tells you what strings you're going to play with your uh, right hand. So it's got these two zeros um, around the chord. One zero is on the A string, this one, and then one zero is on the E, which means you just hit it open, and they have an X on this, this low, low E which uh, means you shouldn't hit it um, because it doesn't, doesn't help accentuate the chord. So if you follow the, uh, the diagram here, this is what it should sound like. And that's if it, it's nice and uh, clean, rings out. Sometimes when you first start out, uh, you might accidentally hold down a finger just kind of kind of slightly on another string. It'll sound more like this. So you just have to make sure to keep it held down and make sure none of your fingers, your outer fingers, are touching another string. And it'll sound like that. Alright. Okay. This is that haircut. Back to A. 